Hello everyone, this is Brain's Journey, and welcome back to another information element lecture. We're under the rational functions, finally, um, and today I'm here to talk about FE, or extroverted ethics. Now you'll notice in the socionic system that we call the F functions, instead of feeling, as in the MBTI system, we call it ethics, because in socionics that more accurately wraps up what those functions are about. Um, but we're going to get to that at another point in time. I'll explain that in more depth in a future video. So today we're going to talk about FE. Um, as always, some alternative names. We have this black like L shape, um, which correspondingly translates to black ethics. And then you'll see with introverted ethics that this is a white, like, you know, hollowed out version of the L and also white ethics. Um, this one's also called Ethics of Emotions because it's very expressive and uh, emotive based. And we also have the Latin name Emovio, which will, you will see uh, abbreviated to E in certain circumstances. So what is the logical definition? What is the uh, elemental definition? So FE perceives information about how emotional processes are taking place in people and also how to control their own and others' emotional states. So we'll see this in action with the concepts that we have ready today and also the behavioral manifestations. So let's get into the concepts. The concepts, as always, are taken from Ibrahim Tensor's list. You can see that in the description as well as all the other uh, function lists that he has made. Um, so, so what is tied to FE? What are we looking at? Well, obviously we have the first one, which is just bare emotions. Um, expressiveness, the emotions that we feel anger, sadness, um, happiness in their amplified forms, kind of the archetypes of those emotions are what FE focuses on and the information that FE interprets is just related to a lot of different emotive states and a lot of different possible um, nuanced interconnections between different emotions. It understands this very well. Another thing that we want to look at that's kind of an extension of the first one is mindset, mood, or attitude because attitude is just the expression of the emotions that we feel inside of us. So we have this inner expression, we have this inner kind of motivation, and then we express that outside in a kind of a mood or an attitude based um, expulsion of emotions like anger, perhaps we might direct it towards somebody that's like more attitude based. It's also mindset based because mindset can also impact the way that we express ourselves. So Effie interprets a lot of information based on that as well. The third thing that we want to look at is social interaction because all social interaction is, in a very simplified sense, is the exchange of emotional processes, the exchange of thoughts, the exchange of ideas, and uh, the expression of different emotive states. So FE is very involved, especially behaviorally, with social interaction because it's just a center for how the, the, the FE user expresses himself in his or her circle. Um, and it's also a way for them to gain the information about the processes that are going on in its immediate environment. So social interaction is a very big component of this. Uh, another thing we want to focus on is emotional impact. So you'll see speakers like Tony Robbins um, using their, their kind of emotive expression to communicate this impact, this message that they want to send to the audience through the body language and the, um, the, you know, the, the kind of things that they're putting out. Um, and it manages to make an impact. They're very aware of how to make an impact. And uh, FE interprets information related to how can you influence the emotional state of another person. And so that ties in directly to what kind of emotional impact different thoughts, phrases, emotions could potentially have. Fifth thing that we want to look at is a reaction to external stimuli. And this is not a sensory reaction. This is more of a, uh, it's, it's a, it's controlled emotive based reaction. So for example, if I were to come up and, um, for, for example, if I were to come up and scare somebody, they could either do a simple jolt and, and look around perhaps, maybe they'd get scared, maybe they'd have a sensory reaction to the stimuli, um, or maybe they'd scream in terror to elicit a social re response. Maybe they'd, um, start yelling, start, start, um, attacking the, the scarer or something like that. If, if something happens in a social situation that prompts a response, you can know that FE is behind that and it's behind all of these different um, kind of reactions, responses to external stimuli, especially in a social context. And so all these people that you see, um, perhaps seeing people re reacting 
perhaps more amplified than they should, having more exaggerated reactions, you can see is probably a trait of Fe. Um, so just, you know, keep in mind that it's not a sensory reaction, it's more of an emotional reaction to some, something that's happening in its, its external environment. Another thing that we want to look at is fun and social atmosphere. Um, this one is related to social interaction, but I thought I'd put it anyway because it's relevant. Social atmosphere in the sense that it understands the interconnections of the different people in the social environment, people viewing, um, FE views people as objects that exchange emotions between one another. Um, and so fun also plays a part in this because the emotional atmosphere can be either high or low, depending on the emotion that is expressed in the group, among the group. And so it focuses on establishing beneficial relations, which is where the fun part comes in. Fun is very much related to the way that FE conducts its social relations. So just, you know, that is something to keep in mind as well. Um, another thing on our list is, yes, I went over this expression of emotions. Um, thoughts as well, thoughts as well, is, is it also wants to communicate a message to the group in some cases. Um, and if it wants to communicate a message to the group, it will do so in a way that ensures the greatest emotional impact. And so if it wants to communicate a thought, something that it's been thinking, it will perhaps charge that with an emotion, or um, if it's aware of how to extend that emotion to the audience, it will present it in a way that perhaps elicits a response. And so this, these two emotions and thoughts are often conducted in tandem. They often express emotions and thoughts at the same time, and not, ne not necessarily divided. Um, as well as that, we have passion and investment. The FE is very involved in what it's doing, and it attempts to get others involved in what it's doing. And so you can see this passion expressed in the person. Um, that's also related to emotions, you know, emotional impact. It's related to a lot of these other things that the FE, once it gets involved into something, it's going to exude that, and it's want, going to want others to see that it's exuding this. It wants others to know that there's this passion that it has, this external passion, this, this vigor with which it conducts its activities. And so you have investment and passion, and um, it's a way to elicit a response from the group and get other people involved in what it's doing. Um, one of the other things that we have are social graces or trends. So social graces used in the sense to establish some rules for social interaction, rules that will help it conduct activities in the group. If it has established social rules, then it knows the methods that it can use to manipulate the members of the group, perhaps, or fit into the group atmosphere. It may want to adapt to the group using social graces. If it understands the kind of rules or the kind of trends that are going on in its group, it can either adapt or manipulate to establish its goal, whatever its goal may be behind this activity. And so it's very aware of social graces and how things are being conducted in the group as a whole. And the last thing we want to focus on is, I added this because it's a relevant external example. It's um, personality. What do I mean by personality? So I've heard, I'm sure you've heard somebody say, oh, that man has a strong personality. Now what they mean by that is expressiveness, emotive expressiveness. If you know someone with a strong personality, that's probably F.E. at work right there. You have personality and how this person is expressing themselves. Maybe they're boisterous, maybe they're loud, maybe they're, you know, in a vigorous attempt to connect with the social atmosphere. Perhaps somebody like Steve Irwin, you could say, has a strong personality. It's a very emotional um, FE usage. And so when they say strong personality, I, I just brought that example up to show that it's a, an example of the way that FE expresses emotions in its environment. So we've gone over a bunch of concepts tied to FE. Now let's look at some behavioral manifestations. So, as we said earlier, um, FE gets involved and it tries to involve other people. If it's in something, it's going to want to get others into that thing as well, whatever it may be trying to do. Um, it's, it's going to exude passion and investment, it's going to get invested, it's going to show others that it's invested, and it's going to try to get others involved in the activity that it's pursuing. Another thing we want to look at is this sense of community, emotional unity in the group. It wants to preserve the feelings and, and interactions that are exuding among the group. And it wants to know whether or not such interconnections are stable, whether they're unstable. And so it'll establish this sense of community based on emotional impact, based on atmosphere, fun. Perhaps all those things build up to its sense of community in the way that it conducts its relations. The third thing that we want to look at is it generates excitement and liveliness. It's using its emotional prowess. It's using its skill at understanding emotional relations to generate excitement in others. This has something to do with the passion that I was just talking about. 
it gets involved and tries to involve others. And it also, um, you know, in the process is generating um, beneficial emotions for the group, or maybe not beneficial emotions necessarily. It may be acting up. It may be communicating negative emotions. It could do this as well. You never know. So in the sense that it's generating excitement and liveliness, this is just something that you see when FE is trying to establish something. And then a fourth thing is it understands interactions between different people. This one's fairly self-explanatory. We went over it in the concepts, but I thought I'd talk about it anyway. So, you know, we, we see that the only way that FE is going to be able to manipulate the group, the only way that it's going to be able to understand how to emotionally impact people in the group is if it's intimately aware of these bonds and interactions between the different people in the group. So it has to be aware of those things, the social graces before it conducts its activities and before it does all the things that it's attempting to do. And so the last thing that I wanted to go over is the ability to control emotional state, its ability to modulate its own state, um, perhaps perform, perform in an, in an audience. The audience may be a group, the audience may be an actual audience, you never know. Um, it's just related to the ability to control how it's expressing its emotions, not necessarily um, the feelings, the emotions inside, but how it's expressing itself outside. It can control that emotional state in that sense. And it also has the ability to control other people's emotional state, um, in a sense, if they're connected to the group, if, they're, um, if the FE user has established a link and it's, and it's you know, behaviorally expressing these things, it may perhaps be able to control somebody else's emotional state through some sort of manipulation. So um, I thought I'd include that because it is definitely relevant to the way that FE um, conducts itself. So what have we gone over here? We've gone over the definition, we went over some concepts, the FE is related to emotions, obviously ethics of emotions was the biggest thing, and uh, behaviorally we have this sort of social atmosphere vibe that is, is conducted um, accordingly. I uh, hope you enjoyed the lecture, next one will be on FI, so stay tuned for that one, and I will see you all in the, uh, the next lecture.